Hey, welcome to uh, the first Spring Week game on Sunday, the 11th of April. This is Team C versus Team D. What do you think of both teams' chances today, John? I think on paper they're quite evenly matched. Um, we shall see then. Are you sure? I would have thought Team D would have the edge with uh, Douglas the washing machine. Yeah, Douglas, uh, we all know that he's a... Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, you know, he's quite handy with his uh, state work and all that. But he's just been out of out of touch. Yeah, not been coming down. So it remains to be seen. A lot will turn on how he performs, I guess. Some have said that he has an illegal glove. Is that true? I think so. Yeah. Okay, we shall see whether that makes a difference in today's match. Oh, well, that was a quick goal. Look like, looks like his illegal glove didn't help him. Uh. White just scored. A nice goal. Hey wait, how come Team D has already scored one goal? Uh, the recording was... Uh, the camera was started late. Yeah. Who was in charge of the camera, John? Uh, I was... Gerald was starting it. Okay. Yeah. So you can, if you have any issues, you can take it up with him. I was on the... I was on the deck. Okay, we have a, a bit of background music from the synchronized uh, swimming girls. Oh, oh okay. dear. Actually, I should yeah. go and... Okay, let's cut that out. Hope that doesn't cause a problem with our recording later. But anyway, lots of numbers okay, down. We see, we see Douglas tapping his stick eagerly, waiting for the reset outside. Okay, but Ethan has finished on strong. Looks like they might have been might have been a call there though. I'm not sure. We don't see a lot of numbers down with the goals being scored. Oh, Ethan is way faster than everyone else to the park. Good yes. strike. Good, good drive by Ethan on the right, on the right uh, 45. Unfortunately, Again, I think... He, being pressured a little bit by Douglas. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think he was... He was... Um, he swam himself into isolation. Uh, so I guess his teammates need to be quicker on the support for him. So we have a call here. Against uh, the black team. I'm not sure what it was for. I can't quite see the hand signals from this view. Uh, maybe Gerald was playing at advantage. But, uh, uh, it could be. So this is an interesting part. Um, I mean, as some of us are aware, I mean, in the 4v4 for C games, the guys um, played with where the forward actually takes the puck. Um, but th this has not... Um, this practice is not spread uniformly along the club. I mean, the it worked for us, but I think the jury is out on whether um, that's the better way. I've never really... I'm not too sure myself. What do you think, Tong Yang? In a force... I think it's better for the forwards to take it because for a lot of Spring League games that I see, uh, the backs tend to drive it to the side and then chuck it in the middle where the forwards have to take it anyways. I guess in force you probably want more numbers behind the puck. The risk is that if you lose the puck, then the backs are will be in trouble quite quickly. Ooh. So then try the little uh, chip and run over there, but he chipped directly to Douglas. And Douglas also flicked it to nobody, and, and got punished. Punished. Ah, so his illegal stick doesn't seem to be helping him now. Okay, it's all tied up at two two. This looks like a tight game, an exciting game. Ethan again beating everyone to a strike. Well, good support position by uh, Hannah and Chris. Oh, but we have a call. Ah, oh, second half. These seven minute halves are quite short now. Yeah, you know, touching upon that, uh, you no, know, you can't. Um, the importance of a good warm-up for such a short game is really cannot be overemphasized. Eh? You have to keep the ground running when the games are so short. Here we see again Ethan with a strong drive. Pretty supporting the very strong position behind as well. Oh, nice steal. Oh, Chris doesn't see Douglas though. That would have been a good time for her to lay it off to him. Actually, I don't know. Chris, Chris still seems to be quite fresh, but so... Yeah, maybe. I would actually, I would, if I were her, I would drive it as well. 
Oh, she doesn't see him again. That was another chance to actually pass to Dagi. She chants a flick at the goal. Good swim. That's at the end. Good. Okay. He tried to chip he tried to chip and run, but he, he chipped it out of bounds. Well, you play to the referee, the referee hasn't caught anything yet, right? So play on. Let's keep going. That was way out of bounds though, so maybe the players are a bit confused. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a good lesson to learn. If you hear any background noise, uh, please excuse me, Jovi is doing some baking behind. Oh, okay. So the there with uh, protecting the punk with his body. He was feeling a little bit, so if the referee was a little bit strict, some might interpret that as budging, but uh, I think the referee decided to let it off. Nice. So at the end of the phase 3 opportunity right there. Ooh. Oh, good save by Douglas. That was a good support position by Joshua as well. As well. Yeah. But I think Zaytien needed to be a little bit to the left of Douglas for Joshua to then sandwich uh, Douglas on the right. Okay, good drive by Ross. Looking for support. Finding Joshua. Straight on to go. Douglas in a very weak position here, but where's Zetian? Good save by Pris. Wow. Nice. Good effort by Joshua as well, staying staying down all this ball. And that swims it out. Passes it to Doug. Oh, there's a... Contested pass to Ethan. That was, that that was a lousy pass. Isn't it? I think it's safe to say that uh, illegal gloves do not help anybody. <laughs> But play went on for quite long after that. Yeah, but the the play stopped. Okay. Now Okay Team C leading three to two. Let's see if Oh good pressure by Joshua. Yeah, so let's see what the black team can do. Nice pass to Hannah. Yeah, good phase one by Zertian as well. Yeah. Oh that was a dangerous pass. Oh, and now it's on to open goal, finish off by Ethan. Oh, I think it was a mistake on the white side. I think Ross passed it to the middle. Yeah, I think uh, in desperation, there was no option on the outside. Yep. So he passed it to the middle and he got punished for that. Oh, now the strikes are getting more even. Oh. Oh, good oh, drive. I can, see, I can see how strong Ethan is on the park. Basically, just <laughs> swim right through Zertian over there. Yeah. I'll give Zertian a few more years. Eh. He will be the one destroying everyone else with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, oh. good, good, good stick work and determination by uh, yeah. Zertian over there. Retaining Chris, possession of the park. Chris went for the steal, didn't quite get it cleanly. And oh, oh nice one. And by good Joshua. support by Joshua as well. Fantastic. Oh, that's what we like to see. Numbers numbers on the bottom, bullying the backs. So the score is 4-3, with only a few minutes left to play. We're approaching the end of this exciting match. Very closely contested. Oh, oh but where's Joshua though? I only saw Zidin down on the strike, uh, contesting the puck together with Ethan. Okay, the I'm not saying Douglas actually, he's, been, he's playing alright now for someone who's been away for so long. I take back what I said, it looks like his uh, glove helped him on the swerve over there on Joshua. Oh, oh. a good drive by oh. Hannah. Oh, is that Hannah? Yeah. Since when did she get yellow fins? So those are brayers, yeah, right? Since when did Hannah put on brayers? Okay, but anyways, looks like uh, the brayers really helped out Hannah in that last goal. Oh, but now she's a bit slow off the strike, she just delayed coming back. So... See, Ethan has been down for quite some time. Hannah is still on the surface. Oh, again, we see Ethan being very strong on the park. Good support by Chris. And Chris has also been down the entire time. Yeah. Very, very good uh, demonstration of fitness and breath work. Can we see Douglas pull off some magic? Oh, okay, time's out. Uh, quite an exciting match. 
Yep, we'll score 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so, let's see what the next game... How they go. Whether it will be another close match or not. Since when they have not get Breyers? Must have borrowed somebody's. Uh. Don't know, yeah. Okay, end.